A couple of episodes ago, I did a DIY LED light panel, 12 volt power supply, external power brick. Uh, that one was 300 LEDs and remote control. But what I didn't cover, and I, I built it at roughly the same time, is I made a 96 LED version of, of that panel battery powered so that it's completely portable, very similar to the Aperture Amaran uh, 160 series lights. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at the 96 LED version, the portable version, the battery powered version, uh, and just take you through what I did with that one and show you the main differences. So this is the light here and looks extremely similar to the large one that I did uh, a few episodes ago. But as you can see on the back, the main difference and really the only main difference is the fact that this one's battery powered. It's got three 18650 batteries in there providing roughly 12 volts. So when fully charged, these are about 4.2 volts each. When they're virtually flat, they're around about that three volt mark. So this will run from nine through to about 12.6 volts which is nice and convenient for those LEDs. I simply have two wires coming in here, exactly the same as the, uh, the larger LED panel build, just those two wires come around the back. Connects up to just a little terminal block. One wire goes off through the switch, just a switch in line, and then you have the battery bank and the batteries are wired up in series to be able to give you the 12 volts. So the wiring diagram for the portable light is fairly simple. The negative comes in from one side, the right comes in from one side into the terminal block. Either the negative or the positive, doesn't really matter, goes to one of the poles of the switch, and then the other wire goes to either the positive or the negative, depending on which one you've chosen. The other side of the terminal block simply connects to the positive or negative, whichever one's left over. Uh, in my case, the left side is the negative side. And the 18650s, as I mentioned, are wired in series, so just make sure you've got your positives and your negatives connected to each respective side, giving you a 12 volt battery. So nothing to it, switch is just hot glued to the back of that panel. I use 18650 battery holders, they're just a little bit easier than trying to make up your own sort of battery holding device. So three off the shelf 18650 battery holders, I can easily remove those if I want to and charge them up in an external uh, battery charger. Uh, you get better life out of your batteries that way rather than to trying to build a battery circuit on the back of this one. So as you can see, three 18650 batteries, the light switch, the terminal block, that's really all there is to it. So if I flip that one over, place it away, and I get a fairly blue tinted light, but it's got some reasonable brightness to it. And it is a very, very handy little light. And as you can see, as I've done with the other light in the past, this one has quarter 20 nut in there for attaching to tripods and, and other types of mounts and magic arms and so on. So you can put this virtually anywhere and have yourself some nice light, whether it's key light or whether it's just a fill light. Um, very, very handy indeed. So if you didn't cover off on how I built the actual LEDs and put them into this little picture frame, and this is the little sister to the big one that I built before. This is just a five by seven inch picture frame. So if you don't know how I put the LEDs and how I wired it up with this zigzag pattern, uh, have a look at the other video that I did on the larger panel, the 300 LED panel, and that will take you through to how this was put together and hopefully help you put together one of your own. Very handy little portable, very lightweight, easy, fairly cheap too. Um, five by seven picture frame turning into a 96 LED light panel. Very similar in size. Uh, not quite the same output as the 160 series aperture lights. These don't have a high CRI, so the color rendering index is not great. But a light nonetheless, very, very cheap. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome, so feel free to subscribe. That would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.